Welcome to our lecture online and to get us a little bit more familiarity with molarity, let's do another problem, another example. In this case, we're going to prepare a 240 milliliter of 0.2 molar solution of potassium hydroxide in water. So remember, when we talk about molarity, the units of molarity are the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. So that means that if we need a 0.20 molar solution that is equal to 0.20 moles in one liter of solution. All right, but we don't want a liter solution. We want 240 milliliter solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the equivalent number of moles that we need to make only a 240 milliliter solution that is 0.2 molar, which means we want X number of moles divided by 240 milliliters. So instead of a liter, we want only 240 milliliters. And of course, since there's a thousand milliliters in a liter, this can be written as X divided by 0.24 liters. So now what we see is we want to convert from 0.2 molar or 0.2 moles of solute to one liter of solution to X number of moles to 0.24 liter solution. So we're going to need less number of moles because we're going to have less solution. How much less? Well, there's a ratio there. So we can write that 0.20 moles divided by one liter, oh, one liter, you know, like that, is equal to X divided by 0.24 liter. Now we have to solve that for X. Now, since we have two fractions that equal to each other, we can cross multiply. With other words, we can move anything across the diagonal. So we're going to move the 0.24 liters to the other side, like that. And that goes from the denominator to the numerator. So we can write that 0.20 moles times 0.24 liter divided by 1 liter is equal to x. So now we can go ahead and see that liters cancel out. And we're left with moles and 0.2 times 0.24, that is 0.048 moles equals x. So that means that if we're going to make uh, a 0.2 molar solution for only 240 milliliters, we only need this many moles of the solute, this many moles of the potassium hydroxide. So then the next step, what you would do, you would go ahead and take a container, you then put in the potassium hydroxide, put it into the beaker, and then you add enough water to fill it up until the volume equals, and how much do we need? 240 milliliters, 240 milliliters, and that's how you would make that solution. So you start out with some potassium hydroxide, add water until it comes up to 240 milliliters. The amount of potassium hydroxide you need is 0.048 moles of potassium hydroxide. And that's how you figure out how to make a solution like that with that molarity, 0.2 moles of molarity.